We have got a fun workout ahead of us today that is going to firm us up from head to toe. So let's get right into our warm up and then we'll get this workout started. So starting, let's open and close our arms, warming up the shoulders. So for this workout today, we are going to work through three different rounds. Each round is going to have four exercises. Our work timer is gonna be on for 50 seconds, rest timer for 20. In between rounds, we'll get 45 seconds to rest. And the only thing you're gonna to need today will be your dumbbells. Now we're gonna take nice big arm circles back. Breathing. So for those four exercises, we are going to work through the four exercises and then repeat them before the round is over. So we'll get two chances at each exercise. And the goal is to go heavy. We've got a lot of moves today that are gonna combine the upper and the lower body. So it's gonna be pretty challenging, but it's also going to be super effective. Last one here, nice big circle. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna do a squat from side to side. And you can add in that toe tap. And as you work through this, try to take that squat just a little bit deeper each time. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna reach over, up and over, and to the other side. And up, a few more. Good, almost there. Two more, so here's one. And two. Turn those toes out, widen your stance a little bit. We're gonna go down into a sumo squat. So hold it down, dropping your shoulder towards the mat, pressing those legs open, and switch. So hold it just for a second. Sink that bum down. Good, twist. other side one more each side last one drop that shoulder sink the bum bring it center we're gonna be down and now we're gonna rise up here and back down hello roll back on my heel <laughs> try not to do that that's not part of the stretch and down Almost there, here's two. And we're gonna get ready for our first exercise. That first exercise is going to be a squat with a shoulder press. So grab something that's going to challenge you for that shoulder press and really work the lower body as well as we go through this. So if you wanna start your watch as well, you can do that. We are gonna get 50 seconds on the clock. So grab your dumbbells and let's get ready. So shoulders roll down and back, head is up, weight's gonna stay in the heels. We go in three, two, and let's go. Exhale as you press up. Nice job. Whew. Good, just about 15 seconds. That 20 second rest timer in between exercises is going to go by quick. So I'm gonna let you know what we have next. We have a reverse lunge with a lateral raise. Here's two and one. Nice, so grab your dumbbells for that lateral raise. And then we're gonna add that alternating reverse stepping lunge in as well. If you are not doing the lunge, you're gonna do an alternating side leg lift. We go in three, two, here we go. And then alternate sides with your rear lunge or that leg lift. Keeping just about a 90 degree bend in your arms. Good breathing. 
chest stays up. You've got 30 minutes here today. So stay focused for this 30 minutes so you can really make the time count. Almost there. Next exercise is just going to be a tricep overhead extension. And we've got one, nice. So one or two dumbbells for that. I like to use two, so my, or I like to use one so my hair doesn't get stuck. So grab that dumbbell, bring it on up overhead. Five seconds, here's three, two, and one. Down and press. Nice break for the lower body right now. You can see we're already a few exercises in and it's challenging already with that minimal break in between. But don't worry, when the round is up, we will get 45 seconds to rest. Whew. Less than 10 seconds now, and for our next exercise, we're gonna bring it down to the mat. We're gonna hold a glute bridge, and we're gonna do a narrow press. Last one. <sighs> nice, so grab your dumbbells for a narrow chest press. And let's bring it on down to the mat. So you're gonna hold that glute bridge up modification. You're gonna keep those hips down. <sighs> so get the hips up, palms face each other, and let's press. Good, keep your wrist straight, control it down and up. Dumbbells are resting in the heel of your hand or the, more towards the base of your hand where your hand meets your wrist. So try not to over grip your dumbbells. That'll make your hands tired very quickly. Ooh, come on, squeeze the glutes, push those hips up. You're getting close. <sighs> now, if you've noticed, those first two exercises really targeted the shoulders. Now we're working the triceps. And one, Ooh, good. Dumbbells down. You can keep these dumbbells off to the side because we're working through those same four exercises to finish off round one. So going back to our squat and shoulder press, grab your dumbbells. <sighs> going quick, we've got five seconds, so bring it up. Here's three, two, squat and press. Oh, this is a tough one. Oh my goodness. So really working a lot of compound moves today where we are working more than one muscle group. And that really gets the heart pumping. Almost there, then we're gonna go to that reverse stepping lunge with the lateral raise. Good, here's three, two, and take a quick 20 seconds. Anytime you need to grab a drink, dry off, do that. All right, so reverse stepping lunge with the lateral raise, or if you're not doing the lunge, you're doing that alternating leg lift. We've got three, two, here we go. So take your time. We're stepping back and lunging at the same time those arms are coming up. Good, think about keeping your arms parallel to the floor. So you don't need to raise your arms up too high here. Good, almost there. Keep it strong. I know this is getting tough right now. I'm lifting right, right along with you. 
Almost there. Three, two, and one. Next exercise, tricep overhead extension. So lower body is getting a little bit of a break. Thank goodness for that. I kind of need it right now. Ooh. Grab your heavy dumbbell, bring it on up, or dumbbells if you're using two. Get that solid stance, and let's begin. Down. Good, slight bend in the knees. Make sure those hips are tucked under. You don't want your bum sticking out. So make sure you've got your hips tucked under, keeping strong posture. And a solid core. Oh my goodness. The arms, oh, they're getting stronger. That is for sure. We get to bring it down to the ground next for our last exercise of round one. And that's in three. Two, one, nice job. So now we're gonna bring it down again for that close grip chest press while we hold the glute bridge. So bring it on down. So modification, again, you're just gonna keep those hips down on the mat. But if you wanna work that lower body, bring the hips up, squeeze the glutes, and let's press. Work at your own pace here, but take your time. Oh. And the exhale comes as you press those weights up towards the sky. Oh, come on, over halfway now. Squeeze the glutes, come on, don't forget, you're squeezing the hips, or you're squeezing the glutes up, keeping those hips up. Oh, nice job, almost there. We've got time for one more. We've got three, two, and one. Oh, nice. Oh my word, I am so excited for this longer break. Make the most of this break right now before we get on to round number two. So round number two, we are gonna start out with a sumo squat into a hammer curl. So I'm gonna have two dumbbells for that. We're gonna hold those hands right in between. We're gonna lower down, and then really, as we press through the heels, we're gonna curl the dumbbells as well. So grab your weights for something that's going to challenge you for hammer curls. My arms are already tired, so I'm going back and forth here. We're gonna work here first. So get those legs out for sumo squat. Dumbbells come right in the center. Let's bring it down, here we go. So down, as we, cur as we press up, we squeeze and curl and down. Good. Really contract your bicep muscles at the top there, squeeze. I'm getting a little twist here in the wrist to really maximize that contraction. You can even look down, see your biceps working as you curl. Keep those arms nice and close. So you don't wanna let your elbows come up and away from your body. Almost there. Sumo deadlift is going to be next. I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell for this exercise. And one, nice. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Think about the weight you pick there, because if the next round through, or the next set through for that, you can go heavier, I'm gonna challenge you to do that. All right, let's get our dumbbell. Now this one, we're hinging at the, the hips and the knees, so bring it down. We go in three, here's two, and one. Good. So drive those hips back, you're bending the knees here, and then you push through the heels. So think about pushing that floor away. Amazing. This is a tough one, but one you can go pretty heavy with because your legs are powerful. We're working the core as well. So keep that strong. Back is not bending, back is not arching. 
This is an exercise you really wanna get that form right first before you start adding the weight. So make sure form feels spot on and you know your form is spot on before really going heavy. Last one, two, and one. Nice. Now we just need one dumbbell. We're gonna do a single leg or a kickstand Romanian deadlift with a single arm row. So grab your dumbbells for the, or dumbbell for that. Dumbbell is gonna be in the opposite hand for whatever leg is forward. We're gonna keep that foot in a kickstand position in the back, hip square. We're gonna lower down Romanian deadlift, hold it at the bottom, squeeze and row, and then bring it back up. Push the hips forward. Slight bend in that leading forward leg. Ooh. Oh yeah. Now you should really feel this in the hamstring and in the glutes for that forward leg. And then as you row, you're feeling it in the back. So think about squeezing shoulder blades around spine and up. We're almost there, last one. Down. Come on, get that row, squeeze. And three, two, nice. Breathe it out, switch it up. So switch the hands. Other forward leg, our other leg comes forward. Get those hips square, so don't let your hips open up. Hips are square from the start, and here we go. We're down, back stays flat and squeeze. Take your time with the row. Make sure you're getting full range of motion with that row. So it's all the way down, squeezing all the way up. Controlling the weight down. Pull. Think of your hamstrings as rubber bands and you're tightening those back up as you stand. So really think about squeezing, contracting those hamstrings, pushing the hips forward at the top. This is gonna be it. Good, you've got three, two, and one. Nice. All right, fun little break. We're going back into the sumo squat with the hammer curl. So if you can go up in weight from that first set through, grab the weight now and let's get ready. I'm gonna try to go up. Let's just find out. Hey, you never know until you try. So start heavy. If you need to go down, you can. So sumo squat in three, two, and one. Here we go. Down. As you bring it up, curl and squeeze. Wow. Ah. Remember, keep those elbows close. You don't want your elbows pulling forward. Shoulders are also rolled down and back. Oof. Time for one more. Come on, make it count. Good, here's three, two, one. Sumo deadlift next. Ooh, all right, get your dumbbells or your one heavy dumbbell. Taking that sumo position. Dumbbell starts right in the center. We're gonna start at the bottom and we're gonna go. Here we go in three, two, and one. Take your time. Weight stays in the heels. You're pushing that floor away. Good. And squeeze. Ooh, this is such an awesome compound move. I am not even joking. I mean, you can feel it working. So many muscles right now, it's amazing. Oh, you got this. Almost there, stay strong. Here's three. Come on, finish it. Two. Oh, nice. oh, I love the sumo deadlift. I really do. 
So we're going back to that single leg Romanian deadlift with the rope. So grab your dumbbell for that. And let's get re ready. Remember, forward leg, opposite hand for your dumbbell. Kickstand that toe is out. And here we go. Down. At the bottom you row, squeeze, control it, and pull up. Pull up with those hamstrings and glutes. Hips are square. Good. Now you can see the difference between a deadlift and a Romanian deadlift. With the deadlift, we're hinging at the hips and the knees where the Romanian deadlift, it's more a hinge at the hips with a slight bend in the knee. So that's the difference there between the deadlift and the sumo, or in the Romanian deadlift. Good, you've got three, two. I don't know if I've said it, but you're the bomb. This is getting so tough right now. Switch it up, we're just going to the other side now. So let's get into position. Make sure those hips are square. One foot forward, dumbbell on the opposite hand, and let's begin. Back is flat. Good, push the hips forward and squeeze. Keep this dumbbell close here to your leg. So you don't need to reach out with the dumbbell. The dumbbell is just coming straight down. <sighs> just about 15 seconds now. And then you get that awesome 45 seconds to recover. <sighs> nice job. And Last one, amazing job. All right, we've got round three. Round three is gonna be all on the ground. So I'm gonna just tell you the exercises we have coming just to make it easier so you ha can have your dumbbells ready for those exercises. First exercise is going to be a kneeling, alternating reverse fly. Push-ups, dead bug, and reverse crunch. So I guess you don't necessarily need any other dumbbells other than for your kneeling reverse fly. So grab your dumbbells for that. That is a pretty challenging move on that rear delt muscle. So your rear delt is part of your shoulder complex. So grab something that is going to challenge you for that. We're going to bring it down on the knees and we're getting ready to fly. So back flat, core engaged, and let's fly. Here we go. The rear delt fly you can actually do so many different ways. You can do it kneeling, or you can do it bent over kneeling like we're doing here. You can do it seated, you can do it standing. But it's always good to mix up the variations, of course, to keep your body guessing. Oh, that's the, that's the goal here. We gotta mix it up so we can keep getting stronger. Exhale as you lift. Almost there, we've got time for one more because it's three, it's two, oh, one. Nice job, going into push-ups. So, knees, toes, whichever option you're working with. You can get your dumbbells out of the way. Roll it on over. We go in three seconds, in two, and here we go. Okay, arms are absolutely shaking at this point. Oh. Know that if you are shaking, if things are burning, that you're not doing it alone. I know at least for me that helps. That's why I love working out with you. Because I'm always like, yep, someone else is out there shaking right along with me right now. <sighs> Makes it a little easier anyways. Whew. Come on, keep that solid form. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes. Keep that core engaged. And if you're on the knees or the toes, really work on bringing that chest all the way down, all the way up. You've got three, 
two, one. Nice job. Roll it onto your back now, going into dead bug. Now, couple options. You can hold dead bug. Legs at 90 degrees, arms up in the sky, pushing that low back into the mat. Or you can alternate extending one arm and one leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So whatever option, we're going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Now to keep your core activated the entire time through this, press that low back in the mat. With that leg lower, make sure back stays connected to the mat. Stays in contact there, good. Almost there. Good, here's three, here's two, you've made it. Squeeze it in. Reverse crunch is next. So reverse crunch, two options. You can have, those hands will be next to your bum. We're gonna bring it up and down. You can take it all the way down and tap those heels if you'd like to do that as well. So whatever option, we're going in three, in two. Here we go, reverse crunch. If you are tapping those heels on the mat, the back stays, the low back stays connected to the mat again. Really get those hips up. Come on, squeeze. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're rocking it. I gotta tell you something. This is the final exercise before we repeat those four exercises. And then you have made it. <gasps> so don't give up yet. Keep focused, finish strong. Good, here's three, two, and one. Nice. Go back to all fours here. Grab your dumbbells for our uh, rear delt flies. Breathing. Almost time. Here's three, two, and one. Let's begin. This is tough, but you've got it. <sighs> Remember, we've got push-ups next. So the time is getting close. About to get that three, two, one countdown. Here it is, three, two, oh. Push-ups, three exercises to go three exercises and you've made it. So flip it over for your push-ups. Again, toes or knees, whatever it is, just challenge yourself. That's why you're here. So make the most of your time and let's begin. Remember, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the legs. Think about squeezing your belly button to your spine. Exhale as you press that floor away. Come on, use your breath as power. Ooh, we get to finish strong with core next. Good, we've got three, two, one. You can press it back for a second. That 20 seconds is gonna go by fast. We're flipping it over for dead bug. Again, with dead bug, remember you have those two options to just hold tabletop with your legs and arms up, or you can alternate opposite arm with opposite hand lowering down. 
We go in three, two, here we go. Thinking about keeping a 90 degree angle with your knees and those legs are just straight up. So knees directly towards ceiling. Your legs are making a perpendicular line here between the floor and your legs. So you don't want your legs coming too close to your body or too far, far out. Come on, breathe. You've almost got it. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. Yes. You have made it to your final exercise. Reverse crunch is going to be it. And then we get to stretch. Oh, I cannot wait for the stretch. <laughs> so excited. All right, we've got to go in three. Here's two and one. And you have that option to tap the heels. If you're tapping the heels, you're keeping a connection between your low back and the floor. Come on, really get those hips up. Over halfway. Finish strong. Come on, almost there. A few more reps. In three, in two, and one. Oh my. Wow. Stella, we did it. <laughs> you are absolutely amazing. Now go enjoy your stretch and thanks for joining me for this full body workout. I will see you at the stretch. I love ya.